Hello and welcome to Calendaring. In this episode, we'll go through the reason why such a project is good for you and the benefit that could be earned. There will be some repetitions here, but I'll promise you this will only reinforce ideas and make it more clear. So let's start. The first thing is to learn ourselves, learn how long it takes us to eat, shower, do homework, meetings, phone calls, etc. So that will be earned. This benefit will be earned by changing and tracking what we already do, the past. So retrospective look, because the idea here, as I've said in the previous episode, is also to change past events to reflect true timelines and time frames. So that's one of the reasons why we need to change things and then we will be able to learn how much it takes us to do many things like showering and homework and meetings how long how long it actually takes because many times we think oh it's about 30 minutes but it's not another benefit is learn how to use calendars how to control your schedule and how to follow a schedule this skill could be extremely useful later in life if you are in need of such skills or if you in need of such skills right now. So it is really important. It's a good skill to have knowing how to follow and control our schedule. There is a schedule we have to follow it or how to even use it. So not everyone, it's, it takes some time to create uh, our routine or a schedule. So how to actually create it is a good skill to have many companies using calendars. It's, uh, it's important to have this or knowing how to really use it to our benefit. It also helps us to be more productive with our time as we know what to do instead of practicing or participating in unproductive activities. Any time, oh, what should we do right now? And you're kind of like, okay, start scrolling through social media and such, instead of looking at your calendar and you're already probably gonna have uh, notifications or something like that. So it's good to know, okay, in the next hour, that's what I'm gonna do. And after that, that's what I'm gonna do. It makes us more productive because it's already scheduled. We already know what's going on. We don't have to find ourselves um, wasting time. It, it's also it, it's okay to to waste time, and we also have free time. Supposedly here is for wasting time in a way, but we don't want to waste time when we are not supposed to waste time. And if we do, we want to put it in. Also, being help us to stop being late to places, as you will learn how to how long things really take. Many times we're being late. The reason we're being late is because we don't know how long it takes us. How long it takes us to shower? It takes us longer than we thought. How long it takes us to create to prepare for something? That's everything that could that all those could be eliminated when using a calendar and practicing and changing or fixing past events. That's when we learn. This calendar also helps us to automate yourself and get, get more efficient by removing the need to decide what to do. Decision fatigue, so it's similar to the idea, but it's automatic. Wake up in the morning, we need to think about this is what's going on, this is what's going on. Obviously, nothing, we're not going to follow it as is, but it eliminates much friction. Also, remove some of the friction of starting an activity as it already there and the time is already being allocated many times. For example, for me, it happens when I need to work on something I do not want to work, homework, etc. We need to write something down, an essay. The problem is starting. There is this friction of with starting something, which we don't want to start. But here, it's already there. Just do it and we eliminate that friction because it's there. There is a time, there is a slot of an hour. Let's just do it. It, it really helps for me. So I'm sure it also helps to other people too. Another benefit is starting the day by knowing what's coming your way. 
to wake up in the morning, you go in the calendar and you say, all right, this day, this is what's going on. And tomorrow, that's what's going on. You know what's going on. You know what to prepare for, or even the day before. All right, tomorrow, that's what I have. This and this, you can prepare. You also increase your perseverance as events takes or tasks cannot be avoided. The time has already been allocated. It's very useful for working out, homework, and things that require perseverance. Really helpful perseverance because it's there. It's hard to ignore. It's already there is time. There is time slot. Time has been allocated. And even if we don't want to do it right now, or we're scheduling. It's much harder to avoid things. Sorry about that. It's much harder to avoid things when it's on the calendar. There is time. Everything is in there. It's right there. You also eliminate forgetting doing things as it's part of repetitions. It's good for shaving, nails, cleaning, etc. Pre-scheduling something important makes it much more likely to materialize. Because what's going on here is many, th many things we forget, for example, shaving or things like that, that we doing in a predictive way. Cleaning, for example, we clean the house every week or every other week. And we do it every time in different times. We know how long it takes, things like that. And that's when we don't forget things because it's there and we know when and we're gonna much more likely to clean or shave or whatever we're doing. And if we don't, we know where to put it or to reschedule, it's there. Very important part is also when traveling, know what is coming and prepare ahead of time by moving or delaying activities. It's good for not missing workouts and preparation for saving and such, shaving and such. So when we travel, we want to go in the calendar. For example, let's say we were travel this week. We would like, we would want to delete all those activities we would, we don't want to do. But we also want to not skip workouts or things like that. And that's when we want to reschedule. We know what's coming up. And let, let's say shaving is here. We want to do it before. Sorry about all this noise. We want to reschedule and move things ahead so we will be ready when time comes also have the data available for later use want to know what you did on that vacation you have it not sure what to do on your day off scroll back to see past days off want to analyze your activities you'll have a general idea so that's the benefit of tracking or going back and fix things to reflect real events is that you can, we can go back and say okay that's what happened what we did on vacation, how long it takes us. That's where you want to know, like, for example, how long it takes you to shower. That's when you want to go back and see if you're really changing things to reflect true event. That's when you know exactly what happened. So we can track sleep cycles and learn how much and when your sleep goes up and down because we want to also sleep. So for example, you slept a little you haven't slept good you woke up earlier so for example you want to go back and change that event to reflect that you slept less and that's when you can also go back and analyze it you can also learn the effect different people places or moods have on your schedule you know in like in the day you're a little depressed or whatever or you hung up with those with uh with this person or other person you we will see you will able to identify some patterns so for example if you're in this person you're less likely to work out or with this person you're more likely to work out or uh you with this person you're talking more on the phone and this person you're talking less on the phone things like that will also help us to learn also being able to schedule things far ahead of time with confidence that things will turn out right and you will be perfectly ready for example you know when you're eating lunch so you establish you're eating lunch around 12. therefore you know ahead of time let's say you want to schedule a doctor appointment and 
and that's going a few months in the future. You know exactly when is a good time because you already learned that you're eating lunch here, so you don't want to miss lunch or you're working. You don't want to, so you want to do it like right after you wake up or something like that. You know exactly what or when is a good time for you. You will know much better when. So learn your patterns. Learn when you tend to eat lunch and when you shower. This way you can schedule things while knowing what's going on. You, we learn our patterns. It's a similar idea. But we know exactly what's going on. Let's say we want to change some things. Let's say we want to go with friends before here. So we, let's say they want to eat at 6. So then, okay, let's eat at 6. That means it's overlap when we shower. When we're going to shower? Let's put it here. But you also learn that if they want to go uh, 5.30 to eat and you want to shower before, that's a problem. Either you won't want to shore and shower or you want to go out early at work. You see everything right in front of your eyes. So incorporating new routines is much easier when already following a schedule as you will know better where to put it and easier to follow the schedule. So what's going on? Let's say you want to start working out. It's much easier. Let's say you're working out. You decide to work out here. You're doing a workout, working out, and then you decide it's uh, every week. It's very easy. You just do it, and that's going to be right there. Very simple and very easy to do. That's when we really able to start things or even changing things. Let's say um, we decided to move shower to a different time or move dinner to a different time or eliminate dinner altogether. If you're doing fasting or whatever, it's really easy. Just delete it and it's not there anymore. That's when you really follow the schedule. Also, we learn how to follow a schedule when needed. This is a great tool to have. Be on time. Sometimes we really have to have be on schedule it's a day and it's a very very you have flight for example and it's a very busy you have to follow it and those days you have to learn how to really follow it and you cannot reschedule you cannot move things so everything must follow by the time and that's also good skill to have also learn how to how without actually scrolling back you'll learn by experience, by actually changing things over and over again, you automatically learn patterns. That's something that people always ask, how will I learn? I will always go back and, and, and schedule things. I always have to go back and, and change things and learn and analyze. The things that when with time, let's say you, you shower and it also it took less than, than what you thought, with time, by doing it automatically, subconsciously, you would learn that this is what's going on. It doesn't take as much time to learn. You automatically learn things. You go, oh, okay, it actually takes me longer without going back and opening Excel sheets. So have more control over your life. If you miss something or decided to make up to wake up late, you'll know exactly what is what it entails and will be able to adjust accordingly. Let's say we woke up late to work or whatever. So here we woke up at 9. And that means that we want breakfast, don't want breakfast. What do we do with breakfast? We, let's say we want breakfast. That means that we're also going to be able to work in this. And if we, that means that we're also going to move work to this. Or maybe shorten work altogether. That's when we have more control. We know exactly what's going on, what we need to move. And let's say we also had dinner with friends with that day. Maybe we want to reschedule. Things like that. And the last thing. It's a lot of benefits. Even if you are going on a trip, you will have a choice of deleting important activities or schedule them for a different time. So let's say you are going on a trip, that's you have two choices. You want to reschedule things or delete it. Sometimes I go on a, on a trip, I'll just delete everything. 
a lot of times I would enter if there is something important. Let's say there is a workout I don't want to miss, I'll just reschedule it. It's again some things there is as I said there is some repetitions here. But the idea here, same, I won't even if it's re repetitive sometimes, I think there is a lot of benefits that can be earned from using calendar this way. Thank you. And the next episode will be on how to create such a calendar. And then the episode after will that be how to maintain the calendar. Thank you.